Now that we know the two vectors are orthogonal, if the dot product between the two vectors is equal to zero, we can talk about orthogonal spaces. Now this is a little bit harder to visualize because we have a hard time visualizing spaces, but hopefully the opener for this week helped you with that visualization because of the at least three dimensional pictures that we made rotate in front of your eyes. So what's going on here? Well, you've learned about subspaces. So if we have two subspaces, V and W, both of Rn, then we can talk about the two subspaces being orthogonal if any time you take any vector from one of the subspaces, V, and you take any arbitrary other vector, W, from subspace W, then always it's the case that these two vectors are orthogonal to each other. It has to be the case that all vectors in V are orthogonal to all vectors in W. We'll denote that with this same symbol, except now it means that all vectors in the subspace V are orthogonal to all vectors in subspace W. Given a subspace of V, we can talk about the set of all vectors in Rn that are orthogonal to V. Okay, we're going to denote that set with V perpendicular, V perp. Okay, so you're given a subspace V. Now we have a way of easily identifying the set of all vectors in Rn that are orthogonal to V. A homework is to determine whether V perp is itself also a subspace if V is a subspace. So please take a minute to go and do that homework and then meet me in the next video.